Welcome back. We're here at DC Upholstery in Denver, Colorado, and I'm here to talk to Daniel Curtis, the owner. Daniel was kind enough to allow us to come tour his workshop so we can see how custom quality furniture is made. Hey, Daniel. Well, thank you so much for inviting us here. I know you're, you're not open to the public, but it's so nice that you're allowing us to shoot in your workshop. Before we go do our tour, tell us a little bit about your business and how you got started. We're furniture builders and upholsters first. We're not such a salesman right. and marketers, so we just wanted to do what we do. So we kind of put a business plan together to really work for the trade and do multifunction stuff for them kind of a one-stop shop. How long has DC Upholstery been in business? We've only been really in business for about five years now. Okay. A hundred percent of what we do is really just built from scratch. It literally starts out from the designer bringing a concept to us right. and showing us what they want, the dimensions they want to fill the room that's required to really suit the client. We have clients that are six foot eight and 300 right. pounds, and we build that specifically for them and give them the quality that will last. Mm -hmm. We pride on ourselves here at this shop mm -hmm. is we use AutoCAD systems. We measure, we measure clients potentially. We right. have you them measure set my height and your then... height, your leg size, mm -hmm. the depth from the inside of your knee to the small of your back. So when you sit in a chair, right. our goal is the first thing you think about is maybe taking a nap, you know? And if you don't listen to what your clients want, what they, how they want it to respond to their bodies, their body weight, their um, lack of weight. I mean, you, we have clients that, you know, the homeowner weighs 120 pounds. You put a regular cushion in that, it's gonna feel like a rock to mm -hmm. her. To why another 300 pound football player, it's, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft <laughs> for them. All right, Daniel, I see that you have a chair that's being worked on over there. Why don't we go over there and take a look at it? Absolutely. This is the chair that I saw when I came in. So tell me a little bit about what he's doing. Well, what he's doing, he's We've stripped these down to the raw frame. Mm -hmm. um, this, this set actually was the client owned one chair that they loved and they wanted a duplicate built. Oh, wow. So, so did you build this frame? Um, that one, or no, is this the, the other one, one we built. Oh, okay. So we built one to actually match what they had. And, um, well, that's good to know. So if you want to have one that, to match another, you could actually build one that's very similar to the same. Exactly, and they loved the style that, that they had. They mm -hmm. really didn't want to change it and buy new chairs. So we're saving the one and building a twin. Mm -hmm. And um, what Jorge is doing right now is just literally pulling the matches together, making sure the arm is padded right. Mm -hmm. um, it's just so much goes into making sure that when you lean in on an arm, you're not feeling wood right. underneath, that it's a good construction, that like you can see, he's pulling his pattern match together in the front. Mm -hmm. So when you present the front of the chair, it all lines up and all looks the, the way it's supposed to. matched where it's supposed to go. That's the difference. When, you're, when, you, when you come to us, a, a real upholsterer, mm -hmm. he's gonna make sure that all those details are automatically looked at. Mm -hmm. It's not about production, it's about the client. All of our foams are usually a latex foam, so they don't, they don't break down over right. time. They don't, um, if you've ever opened an old cushion and you see that there's, looks like cornmeal coming out of it. It's old foam rubber and that mm. came out of trees right. and you're mowing down forest for them. Each piece that we do here, we look at what it needs to be done, what the client wants out of it. Um, if we're doing something contemporary, we're using a denser, thinner foam. Right. Traditional furniture, it's more plush, more plush, more comfortable. Great. Well, Jorge is doing a good job here. Like he's almost done with one arm. Yeah. With the amount of time that we started talking. Yeah, it goes pretty fast. You know, yeah. once you do build your foundation upright, you know, it's like building a house. If the foundation's right, the rest goes easy. I think this chair is going to look really nice when it's done. Great colors. Well, thank you for inviting us here. I know you are going to talk to Linda and Jen next about the specific furniture that we're using at the Parade of Homes at Wild Point. Oh, absolutely. So I know they're excited to show you and talk to you and see your progress on that. Well, thank you again for inviting me. And, you know, it's nice to be able to see your workshop and see how work is done. You're absolutely right, welcome. Thanks, Daniel.